kind of, it, it definitely matters what size, what size of pump that you purchase. Um, most questions that I ask right off the bat is what size of aggregate are you pumping? And when you're working with people all over the world with different languages, that's been a little bit of a challenge because they're on metric and we're on standard and which I think is wrong for the U.S. We should be on metric also. It makes it very difficult. So, so what we, the first thing I ask is what aggregate. So once we develop an aggregate size, for an example, I, we, we, the guy says, well, I'm, uh, I'm just grouting walls and I'm pumping into cinder block and the cinder block has a hole about four inch by four inch. He would use what we call a P-Rock pump or, or, or P-Rock P -rock aggregate and we, he would order a smaller pump like a grout pump and then and, he, and he, at this point he doesn't know what he wants so we price out a refurbished Mako or Schwing or Pussmeister and a refurbished one runs between uh, 10,000 and 15,000 with system. A lot of them will pump a three-quarter minus mix, so we find out what size of mix he wants. Let's say it's in Latin America now, and in Latin America there's lots of ready-mix companies that only have maybe two trucks, maybe three trucks, maybe four trucks. They don't have the knowledge that we have up here where we're all computerized, so they batch almost by sight. So we decide what size aggregate and then we start adding additives and sometimes we have to add three or four sacks to get it to pump but we give them a larger pump and it's called a it's, it's a piston pump and the one I just mentioned before you was a ball pump that pumps 3 8 minus this is a piston pump very similar to the boom pumps it's, it's called an S tube would be a good name for it uh, a rock valve is the name for it. There's all different kinds of names. And it's hard to explain to the customer. So we have to email back and forth pictures and how it works, uh, show him our videos, and decide what pump he wants. The next question I would ask the customer is exactly what are you doing? And if he's just doing house foundations or light commercial, I would put him into a 30 or 40 yard an hour pump, not a, not a big one, a 30 or 40 yard an hour pump that will um, have a pressure of also 700 pounds PSI and that would do the job for him. The cost is considerably less for a 30 to 40 yard an hour pump than it would be for the 50, 60, or 70 yard an hour pump. Now there are jobs that, and we did one in Ecuador, that the guy needed a 50 yard an hour pump that would pump a thousand feet. So it really depends on the job. And he was batching his own concrete, he bought a blast screen from us. Uh, that produced its own concrete. And he went over 5,000 feet using two or three pumps. We did the same thing. We used the additives, we used stations, um, and he batched his own mix. And it was a crushed mix, very tough mix to pump, so we had to use a lot of additives in this one in Ecuador. 